My name is Senela Aisha Kasham. I'm a makeup artist and a beauty entrepreneur based in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, I had like aunties who were models, so they used to always put on makeup and I used to watch them and you know, want to play with it. And I think that was like my earliest memory of makeup. Well, like he had different phases. So there was the easy stage and there was probably the difficult stage. So learning how to do makeup, like every other thing, is not something that is completely easy, but I believe that if you have the passion for it, as long as you, you enjoy what you're doing, you will definitely, you know, you, you, won't, you won't find it as difficult. So, but I would say that the difficult part was probably trying to convince my parents that, okay, you know what, this is what I really want to do. And that was, I think that was the difficult part. I have two different favorite makeup looks because I have two different moods. So there's when I, I want to be super, super glam, maybe when I'm going to an event or you know, a function. And I have like days where I'm just going to work and I don't want too much makeup. So for my everyday work makeup, I like a very nude, clean, simple base. Not too much eyeshadow going on, that, you know, that kind of look. For like events, I definitely love like glitter, anything with glitter, maybe like a nice champagne glitter. And I'm still a very nude lip type of girl. I love nude lip. My least favorite makeup look would have to be anything with too much colors going on. Like, it's just not my style. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks nice on certain people. And sometimes I have clients who might even want that look. But for me personally, it's not my style. Not my style. Okay, so it's not even one, not, it's not one person, there are plenty. There's Beyonce, there's Genevieve, there's Omotola, there's Oprah. There's a whole lot, there's a whole lot, but I think Beyonce is like on the top of the list for me. To be fair, almost all my clients, because my clients are like, they are recurring faces, so sometimes a particular client comes in like four times a month, so the person will end up being a muse because I'm creating different looks on the platform. Okay, so when I want to splurge, I splurge on lip gloss. That's my obsession. That's my addiction. Like, I love lip gloss. I live for it. I would buy all the lip glosses in this world if possible. So I just felt like it was time to let everyone know, you know what, I'm done with this. Um, this is my journey. I was. I hope that it would. You know. I hope that it would inspire at least a few people. And that was really what I was thinking about at the time. I was. I just felt like letting it out would sort of make me free. I started bleaching my skin when I was probably 19, and at the time, I think I did it because of. I started because. I feel, I, at the time, I felt like, even till now, I feel like people perceive, you know, women who are lighter to be prettier than people that are dark skin or women who are dark skin. So I think that had, like, that had, you know, an effect on my decision to bleach my skin. And I think there was a bit of peer pressure while I was in school at the time as well. Well, I would say that it was quite easy to get the product, yeah, because there's, a billion and one bleaching sellers or bleaching stores in Lagos, so it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't hard to get the product. Now, in terms of maintenance, it was quite it was hard to maintain in the sense that bleaching is very it's funny. You use the same thing for three months. After a while, it stops working for you. You need to switch up to something probably you know something higher or a different one entirely. So it was difficult to maintain. Okay, so now I feel beautiful, I feel confident, I feel like this is who I'm meant to be. I feel like this is me, like this is this is the real me, like it makes me feel so happy. I feel blessed because I know that not everyone 
would bleach their skin and would be able to get their skin back. So for that, I feel really blessed and I'm, I'm very happy, very happy. I would say, please don't, like, please don't, cause at the end of the day, like, you need to love yourself, like, how you are, like, the way God has created you. Just appreciate your beauty. At the end of the day, like, skin bleaching is not, it's not safe, it's not healthy, it's not, it's not worth it. And trust me, it's like, you waste so much money. Like any younger person that I meet, I always try to advise them, please don't bleach your skin. <laughs> Up, like there's always something new so what I probably really loved like two months ago my love what I love right now right now my favorite drugstore makeup would probably be the NYX epic ink liner so amazing that's what I use today for like my wing liner my must-have skincare product has to be quarterly it's a French brand I love Cordelli literally changed my life since I started using Cordelli like my skin has been amazing like I don't want to use anything else huh. that is super power like I want like a super power that helps me control currency <laughs> okay so right now I'm really excited about the new Huda Beauty easy bake setting powder it's so dope and i'm also loving the new mac lip pumper it literally plumps your lips like makes your lips look fuller nice and juicy i can't live without lip gloss i'm up that's my obsession like i wear lip gloss to sleep i love lip gloss i can't live without it okay so for me beauty is loving yourself regardless of what anyone else thinks accepting your flaws loving yourself Jealousy, that's what this is to me. Hi, my name is Tani Coco, and you've been watching Creme Chat. <laughs> <laughs>